Let's paint today a realistic succulent watercolor painting tutorial. An outline drawing is done. Now we need to remove excess amount of graphite with an elastic eraser from the paper. So there are no visible marks from the graphite pencil which can in some way ruin our watercolor painting. Now let's mix watercolors, adding water to my color palette and I'm starting by placing lemon yellow on a smaller area on my color palette, adding sap green as you can see, middle middle part is very vibrant yellowish green color. For the main color, I'm taking pearl and violet. More saturation for pearl and violet. And adding senelier red for shadow areas where is where are warm colors, warm color tones. There we can see violet and some red shade is as well. Adding a little bit more of pearl and violet. The succulent is very dark and intense, but we will be painting gradually. For the second mix, for the main, I'm taking pearl and violet with ultramarine blue for cooler, darker area parts. More ultramarine blue and more pearl and violet. And for the last, I'm taking ultramarine blue, testing on a piece of paper, seeing if everything is correct, and ultramarine blue will be used for those shiny white areas. Take a look closer and you will see that there are blue color, blue color tones. Now we can start painting. I'm zooming closer my camera so you can see how I approach each petal of the succulent, painting separately, adding water, and I'm closer to the middle part of each petal. I will be placing lemon yellow or sap green mixed with lemon yellow because if you look closer you will notice there are some yellow shades in the middle part closer to the center of each petal. And now is the process of painting petal. This is a very interesting subject. It's not just violet. I can see there are violets, reds, yellows, blues, and we are gradually adding all those colors. First layer will be much lighter than it appears in the reference. We need just to establish color tones, tonal values, lights and darks. I'm constantly looking to my reference. I zoom in each petal separately. I look closely where are the lightest part. I leave the light area wider than it appears in the reference because I know after a few layers it will become smaller. So it is important in the beginning leave a greater area. I'm using round synthetic brush, carefully painting around other petals that are beside this one. Study careful how I apply colors, starting from yellow. Then I'm going with pearl and violet and senile here red. And then I'm applying pearl and violet with ultramarine blue mix. With pearl and violet and senile red mix, I'm going over lemon yellow color tone. Don't be afraid, you are not coloring over, you are not hiding just applied lemon yellow. This is, we are painting transparently, watercolors is a transparent medium, so all the layers will shine through. Everything will still have some color tone notions at the end, but we need to have those colors in order to shine 
through those many layers and go slowly go gradually we can paint very very smoothly we can add some texture with brush strokes because this succulent petals are quite textured and we can add with different brush strokes different directions for the texture and now I'm adding ultramarine blue for the lightest part in the light area where we can see that there are some blue color tones while the surface is still wet I can add more color tones separate one petal from another I'm painting in quite hot weather and my layers dry super fast also my color mixes on the color palette also dries super fast it's just a matter of your practice with water ratio and color pigment just time after time I'm adding a little amount of water to my color palette and painting mostly with a dry technique dry surface brushes loaded with very small amount of water and pigment and apply colors after smoothing with round synthetic brush here I'm painting different tonal values for this one petal it is important to study carefully your reference you can open your reference right beside this tutorial and study zoom in closely that one petal that you are painting and look carefully how it curves and how the light is shining on the surface adding a little darker color tone to separate one petal from another to the next petal the technique is the same applying water small amount of water maybe you already noticed that each petal is completely different there are some similar notions for all the succulent petals but still each petal is different how light is shining where are the shadows where are more darker where are greater lighter parts we all need to take that into consideration to get a realistic looking succulent not just an illustration but a realistic if you want an illustration we are just painting all the same darker in the middle lighter at the closer to the edge line but if you want a realistic looking succulent we need to study each petal separately and really think from which area is light source coming how each petal is curved and looking towards the light source Speeding up my camera so you can have a glimpse of the painting process. Whole tutorial is available on my Patreon and it's 1 hour and 20 minutes long. Explaining the whole painting process, how I approach this succulent from start to finish.
Now I will add an interesting addition to our colors. I'm adding clear Sennelier red. You could add cadmium red if you don't have Sennelier. And I will paint over some darker areas clear red pigment, in my case Sennelier red. And this red color tone adds also an amazing shine to the darkest parts. I really enjoyed this addition of pigment. It really made a nice touch, a nice addition to this painting. Those darker areas are now shining. And also, this only I discovered closer to the finish. Again, the old truth, just what it is, the more you look, the more you start to notice and discover. And now closer to the finish, I discovered this beautiful red addition to the dark, darkest areas. Now I'm at the finishing stage of filming this tutorial and painting this succulent for you. The technique, I showed you all the things that I did and painted with the succulent. I will continue on my own after finishing this tutorial for another maybe 20 minutes just to add more vibrancy, more darkness with few layers to the darker petals. The technique is the same. You can stop here, you can continue, you can even continue more. Here with this subject almost no limit. Just don't overpaint the lightest parts but you can continue and more, add more realism, add more details, add more vibrancy and darkness to the darker areas. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching this tutorial, hope you learned something new and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!